That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find and... What do you know about strawberries? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, uh, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Read it. Here we go. Great choice. Got you some other time. is coming out soon. Let's make a decision. I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. 
You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go. I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. This must be it. You Mr. Gaddy's? No, sir. Well, Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why, you looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, we're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, and threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing. Get on with you! No! Whoa, whoa! You can't take a joke, mister! Tell Gaddy's to take that offer off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more funny. <laughs> Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, 
I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey! Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say... Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah, I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? Just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. So, oh. where are you from anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. 
been these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. Rid Fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things. Like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hen like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. so bad. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Pa yet. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got to earn our you. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Jesus. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? 
Now the next rail. You're doing all right. That's it. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on! Move! Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, shit! like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. Oh, come on. There, there. There, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Come on, then. All better? Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of chuck. Come on. Come on. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. 
Abe! Abe! I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Mill horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Oh, none of that. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Settle down, okay? Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Morning, mister. Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse? Pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? 
<laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. Much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Come on. And pull. Hold them, Milton. Come on. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. <coughs> Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? A pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. Stay calm. Dream. Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act 
confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Even faster, come on. Faster? What's happening? Help! Easy there. Easy there! Whoa! Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. What were you John about before? All right, let's go again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay, come on. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. Faster now. Come on. Sir, if I go any faster, he'll buck me again. Okay. See? You're learning. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! It feels like I'm flying! I'm right behind you. And you're much smaller, like a jockey. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Whoa! 
<laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, get him, oh, get him. I'll kick his head in, boss. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. Brains out. Oh, boy. When was the last time you had a bath? <laughs> Couldn't clean my Mr. boots. Mr. It's like that, huh? Boss! Boss! You need help? Jim, Jim, get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. You're married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> what you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back.
friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. 